Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're doing a follow-up to a Pixie haul I did a few months ago, and in this video I'm going to be reviewing all the Pixie products that I've had and whether I think they're actually worth the money. So this is actually the very first video I'm filming in my new I don't want to call it studio space, my new beauty room kind of space in the new apartment. I, I do want to make some tweaks here and there, so this isn't going to be like the 100% final part of it. Um, but once I'm at a point where I really like it, it's a little bit more, I don't know, lived in for me, I will do a separate video, just a tour of like everything behind me, as well as what's everything right here. Because I do have my vanity set up, my whole makeup collection is now here, so we're settling in nicely. <laughs> and I do apologize, I don't, I haven't heard... Uh, the room echoey through the actual mic yet so I hope it's not too bad if not I'm gonna still try a couple of things here and there to get the echo just a little bit further down okay so if you missed the haul video I did I'll throw that up in the cards because I go over each product in depth uh, and where I got it from this really is just going to be um, a review uh, what I thought of the product and whether I think it's worth the money some of these are empties I did finish a couple of them up like the setting spray and the face creams um, some of them are still in progress of course like I didn't pan an entire eyeshadow palette you know just in the last couple of months but I have used all these products enough to really give you like my full thoughts so let's see where do I want to start I'll try to vaguely go in the order you would actually apply these to your face so let's start with this primer so this is the h2o skin skin drink <laughs> skin drink primer this was a decent primer um, I liked that it felt like cooling and moisturizing but it wasn't like my favorite and this was a mini that I got from my friend and to be honest looking at the full size price of this product not really worth it to me especially because I think I went through this pretty like fast for a primer it's very thin very liquidy so I did end up using I think more than I probably needed to with each application but um yeah, like it was just an okay product, not worth the price to me. And before we get into the rest of the makeup, let me do the two skincare products here that I have. The first is the Pixie Skin Treats Glow Mud Mask. Now, I have to say, this is a little mini. I actually really liked the mask. The mask is a little pricey, but I've actually noticed with some other products as well, other brands, that more expensive face masks... I like them. <laughs> I think they work pretty well and that they're worth the money because they do sit on your skin longer. It's more of a treatment and less of just like a... Um, uh, a cleanser which doesn't sit on your skin that long because I am a big fan of affordable skincare I'm actually going to be doing an updated skincare routine fairly soon um, But I actually like the mask and this I think would actually be worth the money and I probably will buy a full size of this sometime in the future All right, so this next product the packaging completely wore off, but this is the rose ceramide cream I bought this off of either Mercari or Depop for like half off So it was around nine or ten dollars for that nine to ten dollar mark it was pretty good. I really liked the scent. It had just like the tiniest whiff of rose. I know not everyone likes uh, scented skincare, but I love roses. And this just smelled really nice to me. It felt really nice on my skin. Like it felt um, soothing, not just, it didn't feel like I was just putting on a moisturizer. It felt like I was putting on like also a treatment. Um, that being said, I would not pay the full price for this. It is fairly pricey. And I'm glad I got it on Depop because back when I was first getting all these products together, I was looking everywhere to find Pixie products. I was buying some full price. I was buying some half price. I was buying some online and I was getting some as gift from friends. And I really wanted to just try a wide range of these products. Um, for this one, meh, I liked it, but it's again, not worth that price. Do, 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 do. All right, next, let's talk about this setting spray. This is the Glow Mist with Propolis and Argan Oil setting spray. First off, um, it was scented fairly heavily and not like in a great way. Second, this packaging is absolutely like trash. I used about half of the bottle and after half of the bottle, the sprayer here got gunked up and it wouldn't spray any more setting spray. When I'm paying how much money for this setting spray, I expect it to at least like let me use the whole product, you know, like not just gunk up. Like I literally couldn't get anything out of it anymore. So I ended up depotting the last half of this into a Wet n Wild bottle, which is just <laughs> I really like Wet n Wild setting sprays because they're really good, they're really affordable, and I love their packaging. Um, so I ended up having to depot this into a Wet n Wild spray and finish it up. Even then, I, the, the sprayer of the Wet n Wild bottle helped it a lot. Still didn't like it. So yeah, this is just a meh, meh. All right, next, a product that actually really surprised me. I wasn't expecting a whole lot out of it. Um, and like, 
I'm shocked by how much I like it. This is the Beauty Balm. This is the high coverage foundation. I'm actually wearing it today and I have shade number one cream on. I will say, unfortunately, there is a little mark down here now. Um, this is a little too dark for me. I should have probably mixed this with a white mixer. I know in the studio lighting it might not show up, but it is a little too dark. Um, I love, love, love this foundation though. It is full coverage. It is slightly scented, but not too bad. It smells kind of like sunscreen a little bit. Like, a, um, what is it? Not as bad as like the Misha BB cream, but it is still a little bit scented. Um, I have to say, I, I've seen a trend where the packaging of Pixie products isn't like fantastic, which is a bit disappointing considering I'm spending so much money on these products. I want the packaging to like hold up. Um, but this squeezy tube, it worked great again for the first half of the product. But once I got halfway down, it just wouldn't squeeze out any more product. So I had to cut it apart and I still have a lot of product in here, um, but that none of that would come out from the pump, which is a bit annoying. Um, but I, I, you know, in general, whenever I use um, products in tubes like this, I end up cutting the tube up so I can really scrape everything out and then wash it out and then recycle it. Um, so I'm not as upset about that. Um, considering I can just cut it open and get everything out. But again, like there's just this trend of packaging not being usable, you know, for the full product. I really like this foundation with a bunch of different concealers. I've tried it with a bunch of powders. I'm wearing it today. It just smooths me out. It, it just gives me a nice, like, good canvas to work with. Um, less can be said of other Pixi products on top of this, but I've used this foundation with a bunch of primers, a bunch of... Uh, concealers, a bunch of powders, and a bunch of like contours, blushes, bronzers on top of it, and it just always looks stunning. So I'm definitely going to be keeping this, finishing it up, and I really want to probably like buy it again. Um, downside, the shade range is kind of trash. This is the lightest shade. It's, it's pretty dark, and I don't think their darker shades go dark enough. So again, I think they might be hiding behind the fact that this, well, it is tall. It's called a high coverage foundation. Even though a beauty balm, you would make it, it would seem like they're marketing it like as a CC cream or like a beauty kind of thing, like a BB cream, um, but it is marketed as a foundation. So I would like to see more shades, pixie. All right, next I picked up their concealer. Uh, da, 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 da. This is in the shade cream. I think they only have one concealer. So this is the concealer. I really did not like this. It is a lot lighter. So I did, I did use this to help lighten up um, the foundation at times but this just sinks into all of my fine lines. If I wear it under my eyes, I'm not wearing it on my eyes today because I really don't like it, <laughs> but it just sinks into my fine lines. It makes me look old, it ages me. It's just, it's not good. Um, I actually really liked the packaging on this, unfortunately, like the product that I don't like, I like the packaging. It's like a thick, chunky doe foot and it just, it worked really well. And I felt like I was using, I was utilizing the product. I wasn't using too much product when I was using this doe foot, which is a shame because I hate the I hate the concealer. Like it's just not a great concealer. I'm using it today as an eye primer, which I think that's what I'm just gonna keep it as to finish it up because I don't want to just get rid of this. I try to find other ways to use um, products that I'm not a huge fan of if I can't just give them the friends and family. So that's what I'm gonna try and use the rest of this up as is just an eye primer. But even then, it's just like, okay. <laughs> Okay, let's move on to face products. So um, a product that is actually fairly new to their line that I loved are these cream stick blushes. These are called On The Glow Blush Tinted Moisture Sticks. So I got two shades. I got this beautiful um, juicy shade, which is just a nice bright orange and I'm wearing this today. And I got this bright pink, which is the shade Fleur. This is also really pretty. Um, these, you actually get a lot of product for the price. Again, these are around the $24 mark, but as a cream blush, it's a ton of product. Uh, one thing I did find um, is how to apply these. So the name on the glow blush makes you think like it's supposed to be quick and easy to apply. So you kind of want to do this. Don't do that. It'll pick up the foundation and you'll look a little bit crazy. Um, even trying to go in with your finger, I went in my finger a few times and tapped it on, lifted foundation. What you have to do is go in with a brush, which is what I did today with the orange shade. You gotta bring it in, push it up a little bit, and then really just kind of take a, um, a thick, thick bristle brush, brush it across the top, and then just like kind of dab it on top. And it's actually really really pretty and i do think this is worth the price because you're getting a ton of product in here you're not going to go through it that quickly and it's just gorgeous i think this was perfectly on trend you know cream blushes liquid blushes are really in and these i was just like really really impressed by 
All right, next let's talk about um, a highlighter. So this is the Creamy Gold Glowy Powder. And I say it like that because they spell it cream-y and glow-y, just like whatever. Um, this is a really nice highlighter. I'm wearing it today on my nose, my cupid's bow, and on my cheeks. I just think that I can get a, a decent highlighter that's not this much money, you know? Like, I like that you get this much product. It is a lot of product. So if you're looking for something, like, I don't think it's a total ripoff. I just know in my experience that like I've got blinding highlights that were like a dollar, you know? So seeing how much this cost, it, it's not really worth it for me. Next, this one I believe is technically a glowy blush. Yeah, so this was a blush duo in the shade Peach Honey. Unfortunately, in shipping, it kind of it broke, so I had to repress it. Um, and it is a little powdery. So let me just dip out the powder. Um, so I mean, the shade itself came out really nice. It's a really nice glowy blush or a blush topper. Um, but again, I know cheaper options that work just as well, if not a little bit better. And this product is a little bit smaller than like the big highlighter. So if you were looking for a highlighter from Pixi, I would say go with that bigger one just because you're going to get more product for your, um, for your money. And this one, it, it was just like, okay. All right. So this one, I'm, I'm going to talk about it now because it's technically like a face palette. So this is the Hello LA Angel face palette. So you've got a bunch of eyeshadows and then you've got some face products. The face products down here, they're decent. Um, the blush was just like meh. I've got some other blushes that I do like better. We'll talk about in a little bit. Um, but these bronzer and contour shades, they're really warm. I am wearing them today, but I, I felt like they were just really, really warm <laughs> and just yeah, they look kind of muddy on me and they don't blend out the best. So like, so like I put a little bit on and I went to blend it out and you can see here, the powders did lift the foundation a little bit. And I know it's not the foundation because I blended out a bunch of other contours, bronzers, highlights and everything on top of this foundation. But it's only when I'm using the actual Pixi products and trying to blend them out that it lifted. So unfortunately, I don't think like their face products here are that great. There's another face palette here, but this is like mostly blushes and the blushes actually worked pretty decently. So I'll talk about that in a little bit. Um, but here, these weren't great. I'm really gonna go in depth in the eyeshadows a little bit later because I have like three other palettes, but the eyeshadows are really underwhelming. I've heard people talk nonstop about how much they like Pixie eyeshadow. So maybe my expectations were a little high, but I, hated the formula. I hate the formula of Pixie eyeshadows and they just are not worth that price point. They are not. This palette was $25 and it was not worth it. It was not. The shadows, they are not really pigmented. I had to spend like half an hour just building up the color, building up the color, building up the color, and it still wouldn't look great <laughs> when I was done, which when you're putting in like half an hour of work, like I, I'm upset when my, I, my, when my makeup does not look that good. So Oh, yeah, no, not a fan. All right, so speaking of this other face palette, this is the Pixie and Chloe Morello palette. So this, these are some blushes. Let me open it up without breaking a nail. So we have got some blushes, we got some eyeshadows, and then we've got like a brow trio down here. Um, I will say I use this black shade. I mean, it's, it's a decent black shade, not for using on my eyes, but just in my brows. And that's it. The blushes are actually really nice. I do like these blushes. On top of the um, cream blush, I'm wearing this lightest shade up here just a little bit, just uh, to bring back a little bit of what was lost after I powdered on top of it. Um, I do like the blushes. Blushes are nice. Worth the price? Eh, I don't think so. Um, these eyeshadows, again, I tried using them. They're not really pigmented. They take way too long to use and to like put on and then you just look I don't know. Like I don't. I don't understand why their eyeshadows just aren't great. <laughs> All right. So let's just jump in. Let's talk about the rest of the eyeshadows. So I've got two palettes here. I've got this nine pan that I don't believe I included in my haul because I believe I picked this up right after I filmed that. This is the IFX Hazelnut Haze palette. Um, so it's really nice fall tone kind of shades that I was really excited for, but unfortunately, again, just not really pigmented. It it's just they're really rough to work with. They're dry. They just Ah, I want this. I want these shades to show up on my eye, but they do not show up like this with a finger, with brushes. I wet the brushes, ah. and I was also really disappointed in this next palette. This is the Natural Beauty palette, and this is this really pretty looking, cool toned palette. This is, I think, the Pixie product I was most excited for because I saw this color story. I've seen 
like pictures of it, swatches of it. Oh, that leads me to believe too. Like I think the majority of pixie swatches are just a lie. <laughs> they don't swatch well. Anyway, um, I love this color story, but like trying to use this again, I would sit like for half an hour, 45 minutes, trying to build up these colors. And at the end of it, it just looked okay, which I can get a wet and wild palette and get a better look in half the time than using these shadows. And it's so disappointing because especially this one, like I wanted this to work so bad and it just didn't. <sighs> yeah, so really disappointed in those shadows. And then we've got this quad. Uh, this is the Rose Bronze Glittery Eye Quad. I do not use glitters on my lid. I have very hooded eyes and I just don't want to take that chance. So I use these as inner corner highlights. They were okay. Again, like it's it's that pop of inner corner glitter. Um, were, could I use them that way? Yeah. Is it worth the price to use just a tiny bit in your inner corner? Absolutely not. So unfortunately, I'm pretty sure this is probably going to get decluttered. This one I might keep just for reference. And this one, um, since it's the newest one, I'm probably going to declutter this one for a friend or family. But uh, just... I, I think that's a thing. I was expecting so much out of the eyeshadows because it seems like that's the most of the PR they send out everyone when they talk about Pixie. Most of the time it's their eyeshadows and they just fell so flat for me. <laughs> All right, so Pixie doesn't just have powder eyeshadows. They have a couple of other products as well. Um, a product that I actually pretty like was impressed by are these Endless Shade Sticks. So these are stick shadows. Um, you can also use them as eyeliner. I use these as eyeliner in my waterline and on just like, you know, up here. They look really nice. I got like this nice copper shade and this nice dark brown shade. Um, trying to use them as eyeshadow bases, which I think is what they're marketed as, does not work well in hooded eyes because they do crease. But as just a, a nice thick pigmented liner, these are actually really good and I do like them. <laughs> so not for, I think, their intended purpose, but at least I like them and they find them usable and worth that price because it is like a thick amount of product in here and you could just use it forever. It is a lot of product. Uh, last for eyeshadow, I picked up one of their liquid shadows. So these are called, oh, can I read it? Um, the Fairy Lights and this is in Pixie Green. Now, I was really excited for this because I love, love, love liquid eyeshadows. I did a whole video comparing some of my favorite um, Bustila Glitter and Glow dupes. I'll have that up in the cards. And I also did a little bit more recent video um, all about the Natasha Denona new multi-chrome liquid shadows. I'll also throw that up in the cards. But I like liquid shadows and I have a lot of experience with liquid shadows. Um, and this, as a traditional liquid shadow all over my lid, trash. It was itchy. It like uh, it would flake off it was creepy it creepy 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 is that the word <laughs> and it would just like you would see the lines and it would flake off and it looked horrible it, it was uncomfortable too like i would feel like i need to itch my eyes it just ah well, what is going on here that being said i like this and i'm going to keep it around only as an inner corner highlight and that is how i'm wearing it today so you can see this is actually a beautiful inner corner highlight for green looks which is why i'm wearing this look today none of this eyeshadow is pixie of course um but i do like this because it is a very light green shade so let me just give you a little swatch right here and it is just like the, the lightest touch of green which is perfect for inner corner highlights and brow bone highlights so that's why i'm keeping it just because i i do a lot of green looks i love green shadows and having this as an inner corner highlight just gives it any green look a nice pop but do i think it's worth the money for you to go out and buy this just to use it as an inner corner shadow or highlight absolutely not it's way too much for that but now that I have it and I've used it, it's the same way I would use that concealer as an eye primer. It's a way that I'm going to be using this until it dries out. All right, I got this eyeliner. It's a double-sided crayon combo and it's in a wide awake. And these are brighten and lighten shades. I'm wearing, I believe, the lighten shade in my um, waterline today. These really aren't super pigmented. Um, I was kind of expecting something a little, a little more along the lines of like the ColourPop nude liner or like the Tarte one, what's it called? Like the Fake Awake Tarte liner. These really don't show up that great unless you go in there and you're really digging in. But for like an eyeliner, I don't wanna have to do that. <laughs> so this I think is gonna get decluttered because like today I spent a little bit like putting it on, putting it on, putting it on and it just didn't pop the way that I wanted it to pop. So definitely not worth it for this one. Uh, next, I picked up one mascara. This is the Large Lash Mascara. And I have to say, I hated this mascara. This was just 
uncomfortable. It was uncomfortable. Like I could feel it on my lashes and you never want to feel a mascara on your lashes, you know? It was uncomfortable. Um, it flaked like nobody's business. I uh, just, oh. For me, it is really hard to beat my favorite Essence Lash Princess Mascara, so I think this had a lot to hold up to. But for how much you're paying for this, and how many other great affordable mascaras there are, just steer, steer clear of Pixie Mascaras. All right, and last but not least, we're gonna talk about lip products. So I picked up three of the lipsticks. Let's see, so I have shade um, Real Red, which is a beautiful red shade. I have a nice berry, this is Berry Beauty. And then the shade I'm wearing today is Au Natural. And I have to say, the lipsticks are pretty. They are a little overpriced because you can get really good lipsticks from like Wet n Wild and a few other drugstore brands, but I'm not mad at them. You do have to reapply, you see, you get a little bit of a butthole lip of these, um, but I do like the shades. I actually really like the packaging on these lipsticks. You get a really nice short um, kind of doe foot applicator right there, and I love the shape of this because it makes it really easy to get a nice crisp line on the bottom, and I do like that these feel kind of mini like they're not mini they are full-size products but they're not as big as like those long you know liquid lipstick tubes tend to be i like that they're small i like that they're square they're easy to store and i like that they're clear so you can really see the product in there and i haven't tried it yet but it does look like it'd be easy enough to either scrape product out or pop the stopper and get more out of these so i have to say on the fence a little bit about the price of the lipsticks but i do like the lipsticks and we have one little lip gloss. This is in the shade uh, Peony Bloom, I think. Yeah, the lip gloss was just okay. There are other lip glosses I like better, especially from Wet n Wild. Um, so this just wasn't, I mean, the shade was actually really pretty, especially when you wear this on bare lips. It just gives it a nice like pinky kind of shine to it. But mm, it just, uh, yeah, it just, I can't really say really great things about it. So just it's just like, meh, especially for that price, meh. Okay, so my conclusion. After all this testing, do I think overall Pixie is worth the price you could find it here in the US? No, I do not think so. I think that they are very overpriced. I understand that prices are different in different countries, but for the... What am I trying to say? For the... Um, I am brain farting. But for the quality of the products, it's just not up to that price point for the majority of the products. That being said, there are a few standouts for me that I would recommend if you are at all interested in Pixie or looking for these kind of products. But these are the only products that I will continue to probably like buy more of. Um, the first one is the Beauty Balm. I really like the foundation. I was surprised by how much I like this. I just really wish they would come out with more shades. Uh, the next product is the Glow Mud Mask. I really want to try another mask. Um, I really want to get another full size of these. And I want to see um, their other face mask. I don't think I'm going to do any of their other skincare. I know like their toners and stuff are really well known. I'm not interested in any of that. Um, just like the masks. So I want to see if they have any other masks like this one. Uh, but if not, I definitely would buy this Glow Mud Mask again. Uh, next, these On The Glow blushes. I really liked. I don't know if they have a bunch of other shades, but I, I'm going to continue to use these ones. And if they have other shades I might you know pick one or two more of them up because they were they were really good and I really do think these for the quality and the amount of product that you're getting are worth the price um and last but not least the endless shade sticks but not for um eyeshadow base using them as eyeliner they're thick they're creamy they stay in place and they look really nice and they blend out really well as liner not as a um eyeshadow base so these I do think are worth it and I want to look and see if they have any other shades because if they had like a bright white or a um like a beige in this i i think that'd be a really good eyeliner better than that other wide awake eyeliner so that is it for my big pixie review thank you guys so much for watching let me know down below if you have any pixie favorites and i cannot wait to see you in my next video bye